The Golden Notebook. Well, this is one of the most intricate novels I have read. Published in the year 1962, the author of The Golden Notebook is Doris Lessing. Well, she's a British Zimbabwean novelist who lived from 1919 to 2013. Actually, she was born in Iran, then she moved to Zimbabwe, and then finally to England, okay? The Golden Notebook is a multi-layered, fragmented novel, interspersed, here and there, kuch kuch ho hai, bahut sari stories chal rahi hai, okay? It basically talks about personal breakdown as well as societal breakdown. Why societal breakdown? Because the timing was 1950s. The world was disoriented because of the world wars. Okay, so let's start with the capsule summary of the Golden Notebook. Well, it is the story of Anna Wolf, a divorced single mother and a struggling writer living in London in the late 1950s. Now, this novel moves in two forms. Remember this. The first form is a third person narration short novel, which is called The Free Women. So, now I will you Free Women bhi padhaungi either which is divided into five parts. It is a novel and it's a third person narration, okay? And this forms the novel's present, much love. This free women forms the present of the golden notebook. Now let's talk about the second form of the novel, which is first person narration by Anna Wolf. Anna is saying something. How? In the form of her diaries. She keeps four such diaries or four such notebooks. They all have different colors. They are black, red, yellow, and blue. And why four notebooks? Just say, when kaise, uh, alag -alag divide karte hai. she's divided her thoughts into four different notebooks. Okay. She's separating her thoughts. She's divided her life in these four notebooks. And mostly these notebooks talk of Anna's past life. But you'll find blue notebook pe present bhi chalo ho jata hai. Okay. But right now, this is enough. Now, if broadly lay, black notebook talks about Anna's writing career in Africa. Red notebook talks about her political life because she was an ardent communist once upon a time, but she left it. Yellow notebook talks about her emotional life, how she started writing a fiction novel in which she represented herself. And the blue notebook is her personal diary because that talks about her everyday events. Okay. So first, I will start with the free women's first part. And how many parts free women has? Tell me five. Okay. So let's start with the first part. Anna and Molly. Molly is an actress. They are best friends. They are chatting in a flat in London about Molly's ex-husband, Richard, who is a womanizer and a successful businessman. And Richard's new wife is Marion. Marion only takes care of the kids. She's like a domestic help. And off late, Marion has started drinking heavily. This is what Anna and Molly, who are best friends, they are talking about right now. Now, all of a sudden, Richard, okay, the businessman and the ex-husband of Molly enters. And he talks to Molly about their son, Tommy. Tommy is depressed and feels that nobody loves him. Richard wants Tommy to join his blooming business. But the son disagrees. Why? Because he resents his father. He has been brought up only by his mother, Molly. Okay. Because of this, Richard leaves while the women continue to discuss what all? Listen. First, the philosophy of the Communist Party that both of them are members of. Second, Anna's inability to get over her ex-lover, Michael. Who is Michael? He's a married psychiatrist with whom Anna had an affair during the first half of the 1950s. And third, the ladies talk about Anna's disinterest in writing lately. Okay? Now the notebooks are starting. I have to tell you something. Listen to me. If you novel, these notebooks will collide Black will enter into red. Red will enter into blue. I have not done like this. I have finished one notebook in one go. Okay, to make it easy for you to understand. Black notebook ke baare mein sab lenge together. So what is this black notebook all about in which Anna writes? Anna writes about her experiences in Africa during World War II in the black notebook. And these experiences of hers inspired her first and best-selling novel called 
Frontiers of War. So basically, Anna wrote a novel which became the bestseller. In fact, she got the money to buy a house for herself and her daughter Janet because of this Frontiers of War novel only, okay? Now, during this time in colonized Central Africa, she befriended three Oxford-educated airmen who are the way Jimmy, Ted, and Paul Blackenhurst. She passed her weekends drinking with these three men at the Mashopi Hotel and started a long sexless love affair with Willie Rode, a German exile. Kitte naam aagay abhi? Michael and Willie Rode. Baut sare naam aayenge with whom Anna has had affairs, okay? So just open your ears and listen. Abhi aur kya likha hua hai black notebook mein? Let's listen. The basis of her novel, Frontiers of War, is an affair she witnessed in Africa between George Hunslow, who's a married road repairman, and Mary, the wife of Cook Jackson at Mashopi Hotel. So this novel that she wrote, Frontiers of War, basically talks about love affair of two married people, George and Mary, okay? Then this takes us to the next notebook, the red notebook. Remember what does it talk about? Anna's political life, which means now we will listen about the Communist Party, Russia somewhere, you'll know. Let me read it. Anna writes about her political life in the Red Notebook. What all? First, her connection with and later her disapproval of the British Communist Party. Second, the people she was involved with during this time, especially Michael, whom she loved. Third, meeting miserable housewives in North London. And fourth, the major events of those times, like the 1953 execution of Rosenberg's, death of Stalin, Hungarian Revolution, and the fate of Russia's Jews. With this, we are done with the red notebook, okay? So, abhi, black notebook ho gai, red notebook ho gai, and now yellow notebook. Remember what is yellow notebook? It's about her emotional life. It's about her novel that she began. I'll tell you. In the yellow notebook, Anna writes about her emotional life in the form of a short novel called The Shadow of the Third. In this novel, Anna takes on the pseudonym Ella. Ella is also a novelist and a single mother, just like Anna. Molly, her best friend, becomes Julia, whereas Michael here in the yellow notebook or The Shadow of the Third is referred to as psychiatrist Paul Tanner. So now let's listen to the love affair of Ella and Paul, okay? Ella and Paul start an affair. He starts spending every night at her house, but continues affairs with other women as well. One day, Paul abruptly moves to Nigeria. Ella is devastated, and thus their relationship ends in tragedy. Done. And now we come to the Blue Notebook, and let me tell you, Blue Notebook, because it's her personal diary, talks of her past events and takes us to the present. So, abhi thura thura pan present mein bhi aayenge, okay? Let's talk about the Blue Notebook. This is Anna's personal diary, which is full of self-doubt and contradictions. Here she writes about, first, her relationship with her ex-husband Max, okay, her ex-husband Max, and their daughter Janet, whom she loves a lot. Her sessions with her psychiatrist, called Mrs. Marx or Mother Sugar, who is a conservative woman, with whom Anna discusses her dreams or nightmares about joy in spite. In these dreams, Anna sees weird things. Anna thinks that these dreams are taking away her creativity. She cannot write in reality. She can only write in dreams. She discusses all this with Mrs. Marx. And then in the blue notebook, we see Michael ends his affair with Anna and very heartbreakingly, she decides to write down as truthfully as I can every stage of her day tomorrow. Which means she's still not able to write. Okay. Now, present me and Janet leaves home for boarding school. Anna finds herself all alone, nothing to do. So she takes on a tenant. She has a room, a spare room in her house where she keeps borders. So she takes on a boarder, Saul Green, who is an American writer. They start a relationship, but their relationship swings between serenity and hatred, political conversations over coffee, explosive arguments in the bedroom. 
Anna becomes jealous of the other women Saul has flings with or Saul sleeps with. They both accuse each other of insanity. They both tell each other that you have driven me mad. They start seeing each other in each other. Do you understand? Their relationship actually moves from physical to intellectual, which drives Saul crazy. Because Saul somewhat, he wants to differentiate physical and mental. Okay. But Igdam so Salakai, oh no, Anna is taking over me. And then he decides to leave her. What is this? Now see, they both accuse each other of insanity. Anna begins to see the floors and the walls moving. One day, Saul suggests that she should resume writing because she admits that she has writer's block. She cannot think of writing anything good. And on his suggestion, she buys a beautiful golden notebook. And here is where we get the title of the novel from. Anna leaves the other four notebooks behind and starts with the golden notebook alone. In this, she plans to start a story about free women. And in their last days together, Saul and Anna offer one another opening lines for their next works. Remember, they both, they both are writers. So Anna gives Saul the image of an Algerian soldier on a hill that becomes the first sentence of his successful novel. Whereas he gives her a little dull sentence, which is the two women were alone in the London flat. Understand who are the two women? Anna and Molly. Yeah. Now, abhi tak apne notebooks par li, golden notebook a gai. Free women, which is the present narration, uska first part a gaya. So now I'm going to tell you free women's second, third, fourth, fifth part. Okay. So free women's second part. Tommy, the son of Molly and Richard, he starts reading Anna's notebooks. He's depressed, remember? And after reading those notebooks, he has weird thoughts. Because Anna has such disorientedly written about things. Tommy wonders why is she dividing or compartmentalizing her thoughts into four different notebooks. And after this, Tommy returns home to Molly's house and he shoots himself. This takes us to free women third part. Tommy's attempt at suicide fails, but he becomes blind. Anna is troubled by a new housemate she has kept. And who is this new housemate? A gay man named Ivor. Ivor becomes somewhat of a surrogate father, a caring person to Janet, her daughter. And Ivor, in fact, invites his lover, Ronnie, to the house. They don't even pay the rent properly. So soon, Anna kicks Ivor and Ronnie out of her house. After this, in the second part, in the third part only, Marion leaves Richard and her domestic life behind. She starts visiting blinded Tommy and they talk of politics and connect intellectually. She stops drinking, okay? Even Tommy now has someone who cares for him. Even Marion likes to time spend to you know spend time with Tommy and it's a good relationship they have. This takes us to the fourth and fifth part of Free Women. Now what happens here? An American named Milt moves in. Ivor is thrown, Saul leaves. Abhi Milt aya hai, he's an American. He makes Anna feel protected and cared for, but insists that he is a feeder on women. They spend only five days together and then he leaves. What flings are these? How does the novel end? It ends at the beginning of the golden notebook. Remember, I told you in the blue notebook, the diary, that she got a golden notebook. So, abhi novel kaise khatam ho hai? At the beginning of the golden notebook, Anna starts writing in the golden notebook. This golden notebook reflects Anna's dreams of living a complete life by herself. And in this golden notebook, she begins a novel with a story of her and Molly in a London flat. But Anna realizes that she is becoming insane trying to tell her story. Ultimately, what happens? Janet returns home from boarding. Anna decides to join a school and work as a marriage counselor. Molly remarries. She marries a progressive businessman, whereas Molly's son, Tommy, ends up all set to follow in Richard's footsteps, which means he joins his father's business. And we are done with the golden notebook. This was the best I could have told you. I hope you learned something valuable today. If you did, subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And of course, share it with your friends and relatives. This is Hina from Team Test. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.